just started with after sports practices he would massage me and uh, we would have these talks and he would show me and he would uh, fondle me and he would ask me to do the same with him and I would I would touch him and we would undress um, where would this take place in my bedroom And how often would this happen? Like two or three times a week. And for how long did this happen? Um, not too long. It began to change. When did it begin to change? <coughs> I'm not sure exactly at what time, but almost close to when I was seven. And how did it change? Just became more involved. Um, what do you mean more involved? <sighs> um, we would be in the bathroom, and uh, um, it would he would put me on my knees and. He would guide me, all my movements, and I would um, uh, have oral sex with him. Did you want to do this? At some point, did he do some other things to you? <laughs> yes. What else did he do to you? He used that. Uh, objects. Uh, what kind of objects? A toothbrush and some sort of shaving utensil brush. And what would he do with the toothbrush? Well, this, in the bedroom we'd have what we called object sessions and just slide my pants down or take my pants off. Um, sometimes it would be for a short period of time, sometimes longer. Just lay me on the bed and uh, he'd have a tube of Vaseline and he just played with me. <laughs> and was there some point in time when he decided to use something besides the toothbrush? And did he try to anally penetrate you with something else? He did. And what was it? it he raped me. Did you cry? Yes. Did you bleed? Yes. Were you scared? Very. Did you ask him not to? Yes. How did you ask him not to? I just told him, I don't, I don't. I just told him that I didn't want to do this and that it hurt me. And he said that he didn't mean to hurt me. And he loved me.
Was that important to you? Did he love you? <sighs> yes, very. But I still didn't want to do it. Did you tell your mom? <sighs> yes. What did you say to your mom? I told her to tell Dad to leave me alone. <laughs> and he keeps touching me. <laughs> what did your mom say? <sighs> she told me to stop it. And that I was exaggerating. <sighs> and that my dad has to punish me when I do things wrong. And she, she told me that he loved me. <laughs> Did you ever tell anybody else? <laughs> when? When? Did you ever tell anybody else when you were a child? You heard Diane Vandermo when testify. Yes. Do you remember telling her? No. Did you complain to your cousin Alan? No, not about that about punishment. As a child, did you ever tell anybody else what had happened with your dad? <coughs> um, yes. As a child, no. Why not? I was afraid, and my dad didn't want me to. What did he tell you about telling people? He just said that it was our secret, that bad things would happen to me if I told anybody. Did and I told him I never would. How old were you when this stopped? Eight. So during the time between six and eight, when this was going on, did you tell your brother? Did you do something to your brother? <laughs> yes. What did you do to your brother? I took him out to the woods whenever I felt, I don't know, I took him out sometimes and I took uh, a toothbrush also and I played with Eric in the same way. And I'm sorry. stopped for you with your dad when you were eight. When you were about 13, did you think that it might be happening to someone else? Yes. And who did you think it was happening to? Eric. And did you do something about it? Yes. What did you do? I talked to my dad. What did you say to your dad? I told him that I knew what was going on with him and Eric, and I, and I heard noises, and that I wanted him to leave Eric alone. <laughs>